Well, I went for my uh, my scans on Wednesday, so this is just an update. Um, I, I'm going to describe, describe, per, no, yeah, describe, what it's like to have a CAT scan and a bone scan. I've had them before, a lot of you have, but what if you've never had these and you're nervous? So I thought I'd describe what I went through, um, just so you uh, feel more comfortable when you do get do have to go for these. Um, they, for the uh, CAT scan, they give you a bottle of, uh, it's an iodine type dye drink. You mix a little with the, in a bottle of water. And you drink that the night before. The next morning, you drink the next bottle an hour before your exam time. And for us, that's during my dra traveling trip because we're an hour and something away from the hospital. Um, and the last little bit of that they give you just when you're in there waiting, just before you go in, they'll mix it for you and have you drink it. A lot of the times, like with me, they you get a and in, they inject you with dye. Um, they put an IV in before you go in for the scan, and um, and when you go in and you have to you know strip down to a gown. Um, So you go in and get on the table, which sometimes is difficult. It depends how your bones are and your condition is. Um, they're a hard table, metal hard table. It's, I find it very hard on my back. Um, you usually put a, a pillow under your knees or your head. Um, and a couple hard things about this test. I mean, it's not painful at all. It's... Um, like you lay on this metal table and there's a big round, like a donut thing where you go through and in and back and out a couple of times. Um, okay. First they did it without the IV on, hooked up for the dye. Um, they will make you put your hands up and behind your head. Um... And this time wasn't so bad. The last time they actually had to take, take, take a rope and tie my arms because um, my shoulder was in such bad shape. They actually tied my arm back because when you go to the machine, it, you have to have your arms back. Um, but I can say it doesn't hurt. Um, you, the hardest part is to hold your breath. You go in, there's a little, a little sign light up and they'll tell you over speaker that breathe in, hold your breath. And you hold your breath as the machine scans you. Uh, I find that difficult to hold my breath that long. It hurts. Um, but I, I mean, it's not painful, really. And then they'll it's like do. Five seconds, but it seems like a long time. Yeah, it only is seconds, really. But it just seems like a long period. And then they do it again, but this time as they put the dye in. Now, the dye, you, I mean, it goes in your intravenous. Um, so that part injection doesn't matter because you've already had the intravenous. Excuse me. Um, but it gives you a very, very warm feeling right through your body. Like it feels like it's it being going right through you. Now you'll have a sensation that you're peeing yourself. Hopefully you're not. It's, it's, it's a sensation is that you are. And it, it actually feel like out your arms and out, your fing out to your fingertips and down to your toes. It really just, it goes right through you. Um, it's not painful. It's a... An interesting feeling and they do it again where you go in you have to hold deep breath hold your breath as you would they do it again um, so there's nothing to it really you know it's the I find the MRI is not the same the MRI machine is I find it nerve-wracking I, I, don't, I don't like the noise it makes it's more confined it takes longer, and there's whirly noises and stuff going on. But again, it's not painful. I just find it stressful. Now they you're claustrophobic. Yes, yes, I'm claustrophobic, so it doesn't doesn't help. Um, well, they sent me right from there, direct down to for where the bone scan was. Now they left the IV in, 
which is great because I went down for the, my, my bone scan appointment. So they inject you with a who knows what it's sort of a dye. Um, so they used the IV that was already there on me. So they injected it and they actually removed the IV and said, okay, we've got to wait three hours for the dye to go through your system. So three hours later, I come back. And now this scan, I got to leave my clothes on. So I just had to empty my pockets. Uh, just make sure there's nothing in my pockets and stuff like that. And again, these metal hard tables, which I find very hard on my back. Um, you get on first. I try to remember, they put little cushions under your arms. And they get you to turn your head to one side and this it's a, kind of like a monitor screen I guess it's an x-ray screen it's you know fairly big and it comes up and it goes right I mean within an inch of your face um, it doesn't hurt she said it has sensors that won't hit you but so what I do with this test I've had it a couple times the first time I left my eyes open, that's time I just relax, close my eyes, you know, and I'd peek every so often, I'd see them, you know, how close the screen was. Um, and that took, I think, I, I wrote it down. Uh, check here. I took three minutes to do my neck and head. And then they come in, they straighten up your head, and then they take these big, wide Velcro uh, I guess we'll call them straps and they strap you in your arm so you can't move um, I mean you're claustrophobic it's kind of uh, doesn't hurt but, so I'll keep my eyes closed and I'm praying think about other stuff and uh, now now they do a frontal scan I don't know if there's one underneath it also. And you can feel the little, I can feel the little bed shaking as it was slowly creeping ahead. So it goes down, down your body, like all the way down to the bottom. And it takes about 15 minutes. Um, and then the next one is, um, it goes around you. And that takes another 15 minutes. When the screen comes up close and then it goes like around your whole body comes around and goes back up the other side and goes down a little bit and does this all the way down your body and that takes another 15 minutes but again no pain you know it's just lay there relax don't move you don't want to move because you mess it up so just stay still relax um, not difficult at all and uh, getting off the table I found difficult I actually had to get her to help me um, so there you go. That's that's the, the scans right there. So they're you know not painful, you know. So you know, nothing to worry about, you know. In my opinion, the hardest part now is the waiting. Is uh, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if it's going to be seven days, ten days. I'll let you know how long it takes to hear back, um, and hopefully I'll hear, hopefully I'll hear back, and uh, to see how I'm doing. Um, okay, check my list here where we're at. Okay, now, every so often I'll add these to my bottom of my videos. Um, I'll answer comments or questions or just, you know, general information. Um, I, thanks for the comments. I've had some. It's, uh, it's great to get, you know, get some comments. Um, at a... Uh, I'd like to thank especially the the, uh, the best wishes and the prayers that I've been getting from multiple viewers um, and thanks to the fellow for the, for the uh, tip on Sprouts Grocery Store <coughs> where you can get the sugar free um, cranberry juice and the pomegranate juice and the dark tart, tart cherry which I can't get here um, we even tried an hour or something from here the other day when we were at the hospital to see if we can get it there. Um, not possible. Okay. 
just remember you want to get the lesser no sugar because if you actually read the bottle on the cram uh, the pomegranate juice there's as much sugar or more than in Pepsi like maybe it's natural sugars or not I don't know I mean it's sugar uh, I try to avoid sugar as much as I can and it seems silly to drink juice that has that much sugar in it now we do take well I'll take over or or chicken page or stuff like that which is a, a pill form which you know doesn't have the sugar um, I also like to comment on the lycopenes I think that's how we pronounce it uh, the tomatoes I use cooked tomatoes I, I do take a, a, a drink of tomato juice or V8 to take my pills I find it easier to swallow little pills but uh, lycopenes is supposedly good um, I try to be careful watch for oxalites and and some of the foods um, it will give you stones um, Rhubarb is good for COVID, but it gives you stones. Yeah, so rhubarb, you say be careful, because it will give you stones. Um, <clears throat> to the fellow that lost his father, and now he's on the same trip of down the same journey of cancer, my prayers go to you. Um, stay strong, try to stay positive. You know, I'm glad you're searching to see, you know, it means that you're interested in your health, you know, to try to find what will work for you. You know, I'm glad we all are in the same journey, the same boat traveling journey, and uh, we need to help each other. That's what these videos are for. You know, if you have something you can let others know, let them in the comments or let me know and we'll discuss it and, you know, maybe we can find something that helps each other. Um, now, the other fellow with the uh, comment of the Fen Benzadol. I haven't had enough time to do any real research on it. It does sound like it's a, like a um, ivermectin type. Uh, what do you call them, Dara? Helmetic. Anti helmetic. Anti helmetic. It's like to do with you know get rid of worms and bugs. I think it, you know cancer is like a like a living organism, so it might be possible that it helps. Um, ivermectin is like a, a derivative wormwood. derivative of wormwood. Um, it, they've used that for cancer and it's been used for uh, COVID and stuff like that. Um, like I say, anything I tell you, research it, ask questions. I'm not a doctor, you know, just uh, giving you information that may be helpful. And I uh, thanks, thanks for the fellow for the, the, the comment on the fin bins at all. Um, <clears throat> I do have a response for one of the comments I got and I can see where I understand how you feel. Okay, um, why am I blessed to have cancer? Yes, I'm blessed to have cancer because it brought me closer to God. It's changed my lifestyle. I've focused on more important things in my life rather than making money and getting ahead in life. There's more to it. Um, I don't blame anybody but myself. I mean, I was given this body and I mistreated it, you know, when there's penalties to pay for mistreating things. You know, you do things wrong, you get penalized for it. My body has been penalized for me, for me being, having a poor lifestyle. And uh, if you watch my uh, testimony video, it's episode uh, 233 on the same channel, but under my truck, so I was building my truck. Um, maybe you'll understand a bit more. I'll give you a little bit of an idea here. Um, yeah. I mean, going to God, I mean, some people go to church, they have religion, they, they hear the Bible stories, they understand, but they have to have salvation. Salvation is believing that God gave his only son, Jesus, and he died on the cross and rose again. He, you know, the, his, so his blood could wash away our sins. Uh, you need to ask Jesus into your heart. Ask for forgiveness of your sins. And you must repent. You must start a new life. You know, I know we are sinners. We all are sinners until the day we die. We do our best. We, and we know once you've started a new life, you've sinned and you go, oh my, I am sorry. I, I, 
you know, you realize your sins, you know you've sinned, and you ask for forgiveness right away, and you try not to be better, you try to be more like Jesus in your life. Um, he has given me joy in my life. He's, you know, um, for no matter what he's thrown at me. Um, no matter what life's thrown at you. Yeah, what life has thrown at me. He's given me the, the power, the energy, the strength, the love, the joy to deal with it. You know, um, I have asked God in the name of Jesus to heal me. And if he wants me healed, it will be. I have to trust him, and I do. I trust him with my life. He has a plan for me. I know that. I see it every day. I've seen it. I, 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 I had, it for years, I look back, and I see it was bring me to this. And, I, I, you know, what else could I say? I mean, faith, faith, trust in Jesus, faith in God. I mean, I'm going to leave it at that. I will be putting up a new testimony. I've had still more things happening in my life. I see blessings every day. Um, I mean, they are, some of them, tangible. So you can't say, you, you could never change my mind on how uh, things are. Um, you know, some people don't believe. I'm sorry, but I do believe. I don't, uh, actually, I'm not sorry I believe. <laughs> um, and I say every day, first thing I do in the morning, I sit here in this window, I'll look out and see what a wonderful day, no matter what it's like out of day. It could be a storm, it could be terrible weather, but it's what we thought was terrible weather. But it's another day. We pray, we listen to Christian music every morning. It gives me the strength to go on for my day. And I will pray for you. God bless you guys. Thank you.